this is a van and so when folks talk about van life and what is the feeling of it reggie yes could you do this shout out to van life no <laughs> we're mika and reggie camping newbies intrigued by the rv lifestyle he's a concrete camper who loves concrete pads manicured lawns and beautiful views and i'm the concrete glamper i love campsite decor and more is more on the weekends, we've moved from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV. We are actually decided to get out today and explore the RV show that came here to Atlanta. So um, we wanted to take some time and kind of check out, see what's new, what's, uh, what's new for 2023. Um, check out some different um, campers and some, some fifth wheels and maybe even uh, A classes. Yeah, this is um, one of the shows, uh, one of the first shows actually in the Atlanta region. It's being held at, what is this, the Atlanta Expo Center. Atlanta Expo Center. And so just coming out today just to check out a few things. You can't make it to some of the larger shows um, that have been taking place, especially in Florida. Uh, we really encourage you to do a little bit of research and check out um, one of the smaller shows or some of the regional shows. You can definitely find um, some really uh, intriguing information and uh, some dealerships that are local. So that's what we're going to do and we'll share what we're going to find out today. Yeah, and we, we do have a special guest. Uh, oh, yeah. That's actually, it. Mr. Bobby is, is with us today. So uh, he potentially may be looking to upgrade um, from uh, our travel partner, Gypsy. So we don't know. We don't yeah. know until uh, we go in and check it out. But we'll take you all along and uh, you guys can discover and see what we see. So highly encourage you guys that you take a few minutes when you get to an RV show to um, take a peek at um, all the information that they have so that you can see who the vendors are because you get the opportunity to really map out um, where you want to go because as you can see, you know, this is considered a smaller show, but it definitely can get overwhelming in the number of people and the people that are here. So it's really important to take a few minutes in the beginning, um, take a look at uh, the floor plans that they give you of who's here, and then you're able to map out um, where all of the RVs are located at. This is one of the things that I love about coming to an RV show, that if you ever had any question of whether or not that you could um, enjoy a particular version of a RV travel trailer or a van, you get the opportunity to walk through it. This is a van, and so when folks talk about van life and what is the feeling of it, Reggie, yes. could you do this? Shout out to Van Life. No. But, <laughs> but you guys, this is uh, this is some creative space. Creative spacing. And this is cool. I didn't even realize. I'm like, how do you keep food cold? Well, I guess you roll with a travel electric. Yeah, electric cooler. Yeah. Very cool. But, but this is this is definitely one person. I can't, two, camping. It, it's two. It's just about the stage of where you are in your life. That's all. I think two people could do this. If you have, not to age myself, but if you don't have bad knees, a bad back, we're, we're gonna say a young two, <laughs> <laughs> a younger two. 
But yes. if, if you are destined, and this looks like it's a second. It, it folds, folds out. out, yeah. So it's for a full, you know, it's a short, maybe queen, full. And then this is, this is what your shower and restroom situation would look like. Oh, wow. And then if you wanted a table, your chairs swing around. Yeah, I'm sure that these can lift up and we can like, probably make something that's collapsible for a second table, but it's all the features and creatures that you need to be out on the road. I think it's something that you could do if you had a very specific weekend of something that you needed to do. Um, and again, if you were really, this is geared really to someone who is outdoors. Um, and I mean, people do full time in it. I could see how it gets tight. Yeah. Um, and I could see the appeal because you have all the essentials that you need. Very nice. It's um, the quality is definitely here. Yep, high end finishes. Um, you know, they thought of pretty much everything. But I think in this particular model, again, it really depends on what your RV style is. This one, you can barely clearly see a lot of things are tailored for storage of gear. It really is an outdoor version of an RV van versus someone who is living more full time or traveling um, to various destinations where I think some of the amenities would be a little bit different. But um, for my style, uh, there's not a lot of glamping here. It is glamping in a different type of way. There's no room for decorating. But there's not a lot of room for pillows. It's still a very nice um, van, nevertheless. Hey, if I was 18 or 21 again and didn't uh, want to have a mortgage or pay rent, this would be an option just yeah. to hit the road and get out. So that nomad life, that's, that's, that's where it's at. And then this is what the back of it would be. And you would have the storage underneath and then a, a screen when you back up to that lovely view and you wanna keep the mosquitoes out. So guys, I think secretly Mika wants a Super C. I just wanna check one out. All right, let's go in here and check it out. Of all the ones that I have seen, this one is a perfect glamper setup. They even have your dinette table, lovely. Nice. And then you have the recliners and it sits right across from a television and a fireplace. Uh -oh. And the kitchen is just sufficient, just enough. I think the refrigerator is doable. You know, we're not cooks on the road and it feels very spacious. It actually does. It I feels hate to... very, very spacious. Wow, look at that TV. I know. Get and you some. Coming, I like it. Back here. I mean, when you look at the bed, it it actually provides you with a little bit of a walk around bed. It looks like a step up. Yeah. And you look at the cabinets. I mean, it's doable. They squeezed in a television. So you got two TVs. Two TVs. That's I'm very impressed. When it comes to a Super C and some of the styles and models that we've seen, yeah. this is glamping approved. Nice. So here's the bathroom. Huh. It's definitely, it's, it's an unexpected huh. cute. Then you have the overhead storage or bedding as another option. And then... Look at that. I mean, that is, it's, a, it's, it's considered a pass-through on both sides storage. So you can get to it from both sides. So we're not in the market for a Super C, but this is one that definitely would make you change your opinion. Super cute. Yeah, this is uh, a small D. So they got that smaller diesel engine in it. Oh, well, that's, yeah. a, that's a nice benefit. This is lovely. So from a glamping perspective, a lot of decorating space and in a TV. Yep, gonna put a lot of storage, looks like. Yep. Yeah. And it, hey, it doesn't have a carpet. There's no carpet slides on this, at least. Definitely a lot of storage. Uh, okay. Nice refrigerator and freezer. 
<laughs> and the cooktop. This is nice. The backsplash. Mm-hmm. Then how it's a separation from the window. Yeah, so. Bathroom's a little tight though. It's functional. Yeah, I like this is bigger and but bigger than our. It is? Yeah. Got more elbow, I can tell. So this is the shower. Yeah, even at that price, um, would have been a small diesel. I did I would not I I want two baths. So one main bath would not not be sufficient, I think, for us, but is that something you would do? Uh, yeah. I don't necessarily have to have uh, two baths. My main thing is going to be sufficient room. I need more oh, elbow room in the, in the in the bathroom. Gotcha. And I need to take the storage. Is it full pass? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's, uh, nice television on the outside. What's the cap? Explain that to me. So it's a one piece black glass cap on the back, as opposed to being glass or it's having a bumper or anything like that. This is usually a reflection of a higher quality, higher end um, RV. It's the 2023 Rockwood Signature 8332 SB. So it sounds like it has one bath. Um, so we'll check out Rockwood for the new year. All right, so we will start in the bedroom. So you have a walk around bed. The closet space is nice. That's not bad. And then you have an additional here. That's really nice. And then this is for stackables yep stackables are additional storage it looks like there's a built-in chest of drawers and what i like on this one is that you have not only the small and shallow ones at the top you have two of the larger ones on the bottom and then it gives you the option to enter the bathroom through the bedroom similar to how ours is yep. same shower setup configuration um, i would say pretty much the same yeah Let's see what the shelving is. There you go. So that's really nice. Two areas for you to sit. Yeah, that, that would be the only way to get into the bunk house. Mm -hmm. And then you have yeah. some yeah. overhead yeah. cabinets, a beautiful television with the fireplace right across from you. So that's really nice. What I think the biggest updates are, in the, are we put, re, it's called a, a reflect technology in our floors and in our end caps and it helps heat the floors so it looks like like on a, a columbia jacket yeah that silver lining we got a, a thick layer of that that's that's embedded on the underbelly of this so all the heat generated by the heating pads and everything is reflected back up into the floor so that's big because it keeps your floors warm and it helps keep that cap area warmer up front yeah you ever have up front where it feels a little cooler up front that that solves a lot of that problem so that's a big deal um <clears throat> excuse me another big deal is we automatically put solar as a as a uh, standard with all the uh, units with a 200 watt solar panel mm -hmm. and a 30 amp controller with a thousand watt inverter on the whole lineup. So you can have these refrigerators and go down the road and it's still gonna keep everything cool. But oh. RV shows are also, the regional ones are a good opportunity for you to 
identify some of the local or regional resorts that are have just opened up a few in the Florida area that are actually on our list to view. And so this is always a good opportunity just to check out some of the resorts. And so Winding Waters is a resort that is on our list to open up this year in the metro Atlanta area. So we're getting ready to wrap up the day um, here at the Atlanta RV Show. And uh, we decided to come outside and kind of walk some of the, the lot as well as cool off because it got a little hot. Did it ever get a little hot? The day started off cool, but inside with hundreds of people, things definitely warm up. But I'll say overall, um, I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, uh, it was cool. It was good. to. Um, I really enjoyed the conversation with the rep from uh, Rockwood. He seemed pretty knowledgeable and you know really could um offer some new benefits some new things for 2023 that was a great question that you asked him so, yeah. but definitely do your research to see if you have some of these regional shows because what you'll have here are the local dealers um and then it'll give you the opportunity to just walk through some floor plans that you think you may like you don't like or just you know give the chance to just kind of sit and say hey can i do this could this be my next rv yeah and it's it's a great opportunity to also make connection with local dealers you know what i mean to see what they have and if they don't have something here at the show you can start a conversation with them and follow up back at the uh showroom floor so i think it's a it's a good conversation starter they know that they don't have you just on their lot and mm -hmm. there's a lot of competition out here at the show so i would um highly suggest and it's just a good way to spend kind of the afternoon together and getting outside when the weather's cooperating so and then the other thing that um i enjoy is there are a lot of vendors but more importantly they're representatives from various rv resorts and parks state local the private ones yep. in this region and so a great example of that is Winding Waters. It's a new RV resort that hasn't opened yet. And so um, it was one that's on our radar. And so it gave us the opportunity to ask the young lady a couple questions about planning, planned opening. Um, and there were just a number of other um, resorts, some that we visited and then some that we've just seen in passing online, but they had representatives there. And again, it gives you an opportunity to ask your question. So what's the verdict? What's your thoughts on the, on the show? uh it was what i expected you know being from the metro uh it's mostly travel trailers which i thought there was very few class a's here and i was looking for a class a specifically looking to move up so it's not bad at least i got to see inside a couple that i i've looked at before so it's a lot different than looking at them online versus looking at them in person so uh, i'm good so yeah. would you recommend someone taking advantage of a, a local regional rv show like this uh yeah it's it's convenient you don't spend a whole bunch of money you come out spend a little time and yeah i, I think it works i think i enjoyed this a lot better than the tampa tampa would seem like work to me <laughs> <laughs> you know i ain't want to work <laughs> And with that, we'll wrap things up from the RV show. Would like to take the opportunity to thank you all for continuing to like, subscribe, and follow our channel. Uh, we also have the opportunity uh, today to meet um, a few of folks who um, follow us and are part of our community. So we just want to say thank you. Uh, we really enjoy meeting you all. Yep. And um, we'll just ask that you guys continue to, uh, again, come along with us on our journey as we chase the sun, sand, and sea. In our RV.